hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see how you can create an animation for our floating action button like gmail so before that please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more such videos and now let's start so as you can see here i have a list and i have a floating action button here and it is a type extended so that we can have a label and an icon for our button okay so here i have an icon of edit and a text of compose so when we will scroll it will show only the icon so how we can do it so let's start so for the floating action button extended we have a property called is extended and by default it is true if we make it false like this false okay and save our app we can see now we only see the icon and the label is not visible so what we can do is we can simply create a bool variable which will determine if our list is scroll and let's say a by default it's false okay so let's just save our app and now what we can do is we can assign this to our is scrolled variable okay so let's just save so by default we'll give it a true value first okay so we can see the full floating action button like this so let's just hot reload our app so now we can see okay so how we can detect our scroll is we can simply wrap our list view with the widget call notification listener okay and the notification listener will be of type let's say a user scroll notification and as you can see here the notification listener takes in a child we have a child as a list view and the function which is on notification so for the function on notification with text in notification like this what we can do is we can simply return true and before true what we can do is we can check the direction writing like this if notification dot direction equal to scroll direction dot forward if it's forward we can what we can do is we can simply use set state and we can assign is scroll value to let's say true okay and similarly what we can do is else if notification dot direction equal to scroll direction dot reverse what we can do is we can again call our set state method and we can assign our is scroll equal to false like this okay so now let's just save our app so now we have is notification listener which which can listen to our scroll direction in our list view okay so now what we can do is we can again hot reload our app okay so let's start so now what we can do is as you can see here i haven't scroll but when i will scroll it you can see that the value of our bull is changed and it is changed that we can only see our icon if i can scroll in the reverse direction we can see the full extended floating action button so this is how you can create a floating action and animation for our app so hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video